Praise the Lord. Today we are going to see to whom God's compassion is expressed. To whom God's compassion is expressed. Psalms um, 86, um, uh, 14 and 15 says, um, because in most of the time we are waiting on, uh, for the God's compassion towards us. Um, so that, that's what Psalm 86, 14 and 15 says. Uh, oh God, arrogant people attack me and a mob of ruthless people seek my life. They think nothing of you. But um, um, you, O oh Lord, are a compassionate and merciful God. You are a patient, always faithful and ready to forgive. That's what Psalm is right. Even though, because um, it is very clear that um, uh, David's enemies were proud of themselves and their abilities, violent and totally ignorant of uh, and ind indifferent to the God of Israel. But David looked up away from them to the Lord whom have saved and uh, guided him all his ways. In our life also, you should uh, not look up to the circumstance and not look up to the people who are uh, troubling you. But like David, you have to look away from them to the Lord who have saved and guided you uh, all in your life uh, by showing his um, compassion. This word is taken from Exodus chapter 34. Because in Exodus chapter, chapter, chapter 34, 5 and 7, we can see that um, people did the sin and um, and they, uh, they, they, and they and Aaron formed a cough and that cough is going, they thought that, that that cough is going to take them again to the uh, Egypt um, and they danced before that cough. That's what God was very angry with them and Moses broke the two um, uh, stone plates of commandment. Now again he made uh, another two stone plates and he want to go in the Sinai hill to get it done again. At that time he want to express in his feeling to God that he want God to, God's presence to go with him, not like a teacher but like a father who take all his, um, um, all our need and show the compassion and um, uh, uh, and mercy towards the people who are traveling towards the land of Canaan. At that time, um, um, the Lord came down in the cloud and stood there with him and called out his name, the Lord. Then he passed in front of Moses, calling out the Lord, the Lord, a compassionate, merciful God, patient, always faithful, ready to forgive. So that God is with us, um, even though, like the people of um, Israel, even if you do a uh, deliberate mistake also, God is ready to forgive forgive you because he continued to show his love to thousands of generations, forgiving wrongdoings, disobedient and sin. He never let, so the, that God is with you, that God is going to show the uh, mercy towards you. Psalms 145, 8 and 9 says, the Lord is merciful, compassionate, person, patient and always ready to to forgive. The Lord is good to everyone and has compassion in everything that he has made. So let us see today to in which condition to whom God shows compassion and to whom God expresses compassion. To five different people he expressed compassion to the weary, to the tempted, to the helpless, to the sick and to the, uh, and to the sorrowful. Let us see in the weary. The Matthew 11, 28 to 30 says, come to me all who are tired from carrying heavy loads and I'll give the rest in our life. We are very tired. We tried so much, but we are not getting it out of that. So we became very tired. For that people, God is telling, come to me, I'll give you rest. And place my, place my work over your shoulders and learn from me because I am gentle and humble. Then you will find rest for yourself. If you want to come out of your tired and weariness, you have to learn and you have to take the yoke of the Lord God Jesus Christ. That yoke is nothing but doing the will of the Father and surrendering to the God's will. So let us do that. Then we won't be weary because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Are you ready to take the yoke of the Lord God Jesus Christ, which is doing the God's will and surrender your life? Then certainly God will give you and show the um, compassion in your weariness and can help to come out of that. And next, God shows his compassion to the tempted because Hebrews 12, 14 and 18 says, since all of these sons and daughters are flesh and blood, Jesus took on flesh and blood to be like them. Why no? He did this so that by dying, he would destroy the one who has power over the death. And, and since he became the flesh, he himself suffered when he was tempted and is able to help those who are being tempted. So when you are tempted, go directly to Lord God Jesus Christ because he is ready to help you to make you to come out of your temptation. You make an escape way to come out of the escape of your temptation because he himself tempted Suffer, tempted when he was suffered. And next, God shows compassion to the helpless um, because there was a son, man who had a son and he was possessed by the spirit um, and he made him not to speak. Um, and wherever it ceases him, we throw him to the ground. He, it forms at its mouth, um, gnashing his teeth and become rigid. He asked your disciple to drive out the spirit, but they could not. From the birth, um, this boy was like that. He, go, he went to all places. Nobody helped him. And at last he came to disciples of Jesus Christ. Even they could not do it. So he was very desperate. Um, Jesus asked the boy father, how long has it been like this? this from childhood, he answered. From childhood, uh, nobody helped him. He's helpless. So he asked him, 
um, um, uh, he asked the father, please come, come, bring the child to him. He, uh, he, ordered, he commanded the spirit to go away from that boy and that boy immediately was rescued and he was healed. So to, if you are in this helpless condition, if you are thinking that you never get help from anybody else and if you ask help from so many people and didn't get um, the deliverance, that then this time God is telling you, God is pouring out his grace and mercy towards you and come he make you uh, to come out of your problem. And next one is him, um, to the sorrowful God shows the grim. So God shows him his, his compassion. That's what is there in uh, Luke chapter 7, uh, 13 to 14. There was a lady who was a widow and he, he belonged to a nine village. And for that widow, he had a, a young boy, a teen boy. That boy also died. So she became very sad. And all the people uh, followed the procession at that time. When the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her. He said to her, don't cry. He went up to the open coffin, took hold of it, and the man who were carrying it stopped. He said, young man, I am telling you to come back to life. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. So, if you are, if you are sorrowful by losing something else and think that that will never, never come up, uh, they'll think that uh, that has dead already. God is making to rise again and going to give it to you itself, because only then only your sorrowful will remove from you. This is a prophecy for you. Take it as a granted. If you are sorrowful now, God is going to make you happy by making the thing which was dead alive and going to give it to your hand itself. And, and to the sick people, God shows the compassion. That's what happened. There are the two beggars, a blind man, sitting and begging at the gate of um, Jericho. When Jesus was crossing through that, they came to know that Jesus was there. So the Lord, the son of David, have mercy on us, they shouted. When the crowd rebuked them, they shouted still more louder, Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped and called them and he asked them, what do you want me to do for you? They said, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them, touched their eyes. Immediately they reached their sight and followed them. So the, this may be your condition. Maybe you are sick full and they, maybe you are cried unto the people so many times to help. Everybody, people are not able to help also. And they are also commanding you to keep quiet. Now, if this is a condition, God is ready to help you and make you to come out of sickness and because he's ready to show his compassion to you. Another person also was had leprosy. He came to him and begged him on his knees. If you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was filled with the compassion, reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. So when she God shows his compassion to our sickness. It will remove immediately. It, will, it may be there for a very long time. Like um, um, maybe it may be, it may, it may not be cured. How, how, how much you have tried when God's compassion poured on you, that sickness removed immediately. Take it granted them because God is still talking to you face to face. To the multitude also, when they have nothing to eat, when they feel they were, um, they were, they need, they, they, there is an uh, insufficiency for them. At that time also, God is ready to help them. This happened when the people were with, the, with Jesus Christ for three days and they, he said, this, this, and they want to go back home. But Jesus called his disciple to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry or they may collapse on the way. Should Jesus Christ surely know that will collapse on the way because of tiredness, because of weariness, because of lack of food. So in our path also, you feel something lacking in your life. Jesus Christ certainly know if we never leave you for, get you out of that uh, lacking lackness, um, you will certainly collapse. Uh, never God leave you like that in the collapse stage. He's ready to show the compassion to us. Um, so God changed the, the situation by multiplying uh, two, two fish and five breads and provided the food for 5,000 people and collected the remains of the 12 basket. Uh, the same thing will happen to you also in your insufficiency. God's mercy is going to pour and insufficiency is going to become a sufficiency and you are going to still more gather in 12 basket. Um, in this way, God shows the compassion to, to the sinners also because um, when Matt, God told Matthew, the tax collector, to follow him, tax collector Matthew followed him and next day he had a great party in his home. He called all his um, friends and um, co-workers um, who worked with, with him as a tax collector. At that time, they came and dined with Jesus Christ. At that time, Pharisees saw this and asked his disciple, why does your teacher eat with the tax collectors and sinners? And when the Jesus heard this and he said, healthy people don't need a doctor. Those who are sick do. I le um, learn what I mean, uh, what, 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 what this means. I want mercy, not sacrifice. I have come to call sinners, not people who think they have, God, have God's approval. So don't think that you are a sinner and don't think that you never get God's uh, compassion. Only for those people, only God shows a compassion for 
them only Jesus Christ came to this world. So be 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 strong and and uh, go to the Lord God Jesus Christ in any situation it may be. He will certainly show the compassion to you. Not only that, Christians are also commanded to show compassion to others. Also, Colossians chapter three, twelve and thirteen says, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and deadly, dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So let us clothe ourselves. Not only that, bear with each other, forgive one another if any one of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Then God will show His compassion in your daily, in a in a deliberate situation. Also, I'll pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for revealing that you are the compassionate God. Show the compassion to us and deliver us from all our problems. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God bless you.